Alright, so this is going to be a review of the first gear beaver tail trailer or tag trailer. It's 150th scale and retails for 30 bucks and it is 100% worth it. Probably one of the better accessories I have and one of the more useful. And like I'm going to probably keep saying in the review for 30 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this trailer. Uh, the only thing about it is you have to have a, a truck to connect it to. And uh, many of you know my collection and you know that I have a decent amount of models and I really only have three trucks to connect it to. So if you got a dump truck to connect it to, uh, for 30 bucks it's a great addition and it's, it's great for hauling. Uh, many models around. Uh, the, the one thing about it though, I haven't actually looked it up. I'm going to look it up after this video. I don't know how much it could actually haul or what's the capacity of the trailer. And uh, that's the only thing that I, I don't know. And I think, I don't know if they said it on the box, but if they didn't, it would probably be a smart idea for them to. And there's also only one bad thing about this trailer. Um, so to start off, it's all metal. It's very heavy. Uh, it's not like five pounds, but for the size of the model, when you lift it up, it's very heavy. Uh, the axles roll very smooth. They're perfect. And the ramps go down on the back. Now, uh, the only bad thing about it is the outrigger over here, it does not come down. So, if you leave it like that, the natural weight of the trailer it makes it tip forward. So that's why I have this little quarter inch piece of wood right here. On the side of the trailer is pretty much uh, normal. Um, so to, to get into more detail of it, uh, this is, it's actually one of my favorite models, that, that my favorite one of my new models. Although I, I do just leave it for display and I don't really touch it much. Uh, the, the color is, I think, what I mainly like about it best. Uh, these right here are metal. Uh, I believe this piece right here is plastic. Which, it doesn't really matter that much. But it is plastic. It's just really the, the foot for the ramps. Uh, you could also see they added the cool caution tape or the warning tape on it. The ramps will pretty much hold up any model. This is a Joel Cat 920 and um, the model will go up it perfectly and then go onto the trailer perfectly. And you can also uh, drive a track loader up it or display it. You could also see on the ramp that it has these uh, I guess ribs on them. I like that a lot and it doesn't just make it look flat and I guess you could say it does something. I don't really think it does but it, it looks nice. Uh, just straight pins on these, no rivets, which is nice uh, especially considering the size of them like you could tell and uh, it's also got the, the hinge right in the middle so they fold up just like that and they fold down. The sides of it are pretty much the same as the ramps. Um, it's got the tape, on the, I guess the DOT tape. I guess these would be lights. Don't really know. Um, tires, very nice. They're chromed. And like I said before, I think the color of this, it just flows perfectly. Uh, the yellow is a perfect shade. It's not too dark. It's not too light. I think that's why I, I like it so much because I, whenever I buy a model color has to do a lot with it. Uh, rest of the trailer is pretty much normal. Uh, the deck on it, uh, this is not real wood. It is simulated wood. And uh, you can tell that because I don't know if you could tell underneath, but it, you can see it's simulated underneath. I don't know if it's the paint, but uh, it seems better underneath. But there's a simulated wood on the deck. I wish that they would have made it real wood, but of course it would cost more to the model. Another thing is it's pretty durable. Uh, the back has brake lights. There's things in the middle. It's, 
it's unbalanced, so I'm gonna try to hold it. And the hitch up front is also very nice. The only thing, like I said, is the outrigger doesn't come down, but it was, it's only 30 bucks. So, I, I mean, I, I guess you could expect it to come down, but um, I don't really expect it to. And obvious reasons why it isn't going to come down is so, uh, I guess it's always meant to dip, be displayed hooked up to a truck. But uh, the outrigger has the, the handle to lower it. Uh, it is plastic, though, unfortunately, unlike the rest of the model, which is all metal. And here's what it looks like. And here's the little hitch to attach to a truck. Now they give you this small, very small hitch, which I, I, I would assume to attach to other first gear trucks, and it just goes like that. Um, I only have the Sword Oshkosh 4x4 and 6x6, so I could only attach it to those trucks. Maybe getting this trailer is going to let me, or at least uh, make me buy other trucks, I really don't know. But for those of you that do have the Oshkoshes, they're both the same height, so I'm going to display them on the 4x4. When you hook it up to the Oshkosh, it fits the hitch, but you can see this is the normal height, and how it connects to the truck is at that height, so it's, it's you know, not level exactly. It's off by, like, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch it's off by so I have to actually make a hitch for it but when you do attach it it stays and everything and for now until I make make the hitch uh, for display it's not really bothering me I honestly uh, I guess if I didn't put videos on YouTube I'd probably never make the hitch but this is what it looks like with a load on it uh, with a normal hitch it's gonna look like that and I like this trailer a lot like I'm gonna say for 30 bucks uh, I ordered it. I didn't even know what it was like. I really didn't even look at reviews of it. Uh, I looked at Rabbit Smellers, Rabbit Smeller 400's unboxing of it. That's pretty much it. I didn't even look at the trailer. I knew it was going to be good coming from First Gear. It's absolutely worth it. If you don't have one and you would like a tag trailer for a truck, definitely get it. I mean, it's even great if you if you have uh, like crane mats or anything that you want to haul around. Um, it, it's just really a, a nice model. I know I always see uh, people around here hauling all their stuff besides equipment on tag trailers from job site to job site. But, like I said, if you don't have one, definitely get it. Uh, most retailers sell it. I don't know if they make it in other, other colors. I highly recommend the yellow. It just looks really cool in the yellow. I probably wouldn't have gotten it if it was in any other color. And that's pretty much it on the review. I didn't think the review would go this long, but I guess I had more to say than I thought. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I'm going to have a video up on how to make a hitch to attach it to the Oshkosh.